great to see you back here this Monday night. My name is Rhett Williams, a seminarian for the Diocese of Charleston, and welcome back to Foundations of Faith. Now, last time uh, we pretty much stopped at the end of the opening prayer, and then we opened up the Liturgy of the Word, and we were talking about different facts about the translations, about the different cycles in the church, and how the church breaks up its readings throughout the year in series of years. Um, now I actually talk about in the actual rite itself, um, the first set, the reading, the psalm reading, the second reading, um, and then the gospel reading and moving into the homily. Um, as most of you know, you know our first reading is almost always a reading from the Old Testament uh, on Sundays. Um, many times during the week, uh, that first reading can be something from the New Testament. Um, but for the most part, you know, on Sundays, it's, it's the Old Testament, with the exceptions of feast days or um, certain special days you know, throughout the year. Like in Easter, you know, we'll, we'll read a whole series of different, um, you know, readings for the for the opening. Now, after we move from the Old Testament, we move into the Psalms. Uh, the Old Testament reading, move into the Psalms. And of course, the Psalms were these songs of praise from David. Uh, many times, uh, they're sung. For example, us in the seminary, we do morning and evening prayer. Uh, we split up in these two sides. Uh, so we have 30 guys on each side, and they're reading back and forth. And sometimes on Sundays, we sing it back and forth between each other. They call it antiphonally. Um, now we, on Sundays, we do something similar. The cantor will sing uh, part of it, and then we'll sing back, and then he'll sing a, a strophe of the psalm, and then we'll sing the antiphon again. And that's kind of that bantering back and forth of the people of God. Now when we move on from the psalms, we move into the second reading on Sundays. You know, during the week, we just have one reading. But on Sundays, we have the second reading. Many times it's from an epistle uh, or some letter from the New Testament. And um, moving from there, we move into the gospel. Now at the gospel... Um, the gospel is always read by a deacon or a priest. You see the book many times it's processed in, uh, it's proclaimed. And uh, after proclaiming, or actually before proclaiming, we make a, you many times, you know, we'll make the sign of the cross over our, our mind, our mouth, and our heart, just asking for these words to penetrate our mind, uh, let it influence the words that come out of our mouth, and penetrate our heart to change it. So this is an outward symbol of making these signs of the cross on ourselves, um, you know, time old tradition. As we move on uh, from the, the preaching of the gospel, now the preaching of the gospel, uh, you know, many times the the, the uh, priest can choose what he's going to preach on. He can preach from, you know, one of the epistles. He can, sometimes, you know, rarely, sometimes people will preach on the Psalms or on the gospel reading. And then sometimes on rare occasions you'll see a, a certain series or um, a certain number of, of sessions, like a three-part series on faith or hope or love that, a, you know, a priest will, will do. So, um, so that's the homily. So moving through the homily, and after that, that's kind of the closing, uh, more or less, of the Liturgy of the Word, and then there's this transition into the Liturgy of the Eucharist. So I hope that was somewhat helpful, uh, running through just some different ideas on the Liturgy of the Word, how it's broken down, Old Testament, Psalm, New Testament, and then a Gospel, uh, following the lectionary year that we talked about last time, and then a preaching on the Word, you know, choosing one of those and kind of trying to put them all together and preach the Word to the people of God. So I hope that was helpful. Hope to see you next week on Foundations of Faith next Monday. See you then.